Good morning, my people, my people, my people, my people, my people, my people. My name is Alan Palmer, St. Vincent Grenadines, Prairie of the Most Hated Son, the Diaspora Machismo. Let me wish everyone happy Sabbath. Today we're going to speak about the things of the Most High. People, today's topic, Christmas is here. What about Christmas? Christmas is here. What about Christmas? People, as usual, I'm going to take a minute or two to invite a few friends to listen to this video. While you listen to this video, pay attention to the words of St. Vincent, greatest lyricist, the man age. If you're going to hang out with me for the next couple of minutes, I would like for you to share this video. Share this video on your page, share it on a friend page, share it in a room, share it in a group, and when you share it, tag someone in the video. <laughs> Get on your knees. Our topic today, Christmas is here. What about Christmas? It's to pray we get blessings. Huh? It's the way of confessing to all the things we have done wrong. Prayer will increase your faith in the Almighty. It will help you develop spiritually. Prayer is necessary whether you believe in life. I think that is enough. My people, my people, my people, my name is Alan Palmerson, visiting the Grenadines, favorite the most hated son, the diaspora machismo. Our topic for today is Christmas is here. What about Christmas? I hope if you're going to hang out with me for the next couple of minutes, I would like you to share this video. Share this video on your page. Share it on a friend's page. Share it in a room. Share it in a group. And when you share it, please tag someone in it. Monica Speck, my broker, good morning. Have a Merry Christmas to you. And I hope all is well with you and your family. Thank you very much. People, if you're going to hang out with me for the next couple of minutes, um, share this video. Let me extend compliments to the season to all who is going to watch this video. Whether you're going to watch it live or whether you're going to watch it in the rerun, I would like for you to share this video. People, our topic for today is Christmas is here. What about Christmas? Now let us approach the throne of the Mosai as we get ready to start this. So let me wish everyone a season greetings again. Oh great supreme of the Mosai. As I come before your people to speak up, to speak to your people on matters of importance to your kingdom, I ask that you put only the things that you've placed upon my heart, upon my lips. And if I lend any confusion to anyone in this live video, send your Holy Spirit with my word. Let your Holy Spirit lend clarity where I would have lent confusion. In your house's name, I say, let it be done. Oliver Laidlow, good morning to you. Merry Christmas, season greetings, and all the best to everyone and their family. Now, I want you to do two things for me. Share this video, grab your pen, your paper, and your Bible, and let us go on a new adventure. You're going to learn some new stuff today. Our scripture reading is coming from the book of Matthew 12 and we are going to be reading 25 and 26 Matthew chapter 12 verse 25 and 26 but Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation and every city or house divided against itself 
will not stand. If Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How then will his kingdom stand? People, let me give you the background to the quotation we have just read. This is quotation that is coming from the Son of the Most High, Yahawasha, aka Jesus Christ. They brought a demon possessed man to the Son of the Most High, Yahawasha, aka Jesus Christ. This demon possessed man was blind and he was dumb. So, it was a Sabbath and Jesus healed this demon possessed man and when he cast out the devils from this man he regained his vision and he regained his ability to hear and to speak there were mumblings in the crowd that stood by that said this have to be the son of the most high this have to be the son of the most high the scribe and the pharisees got jealous of what they were hearing the people were saying about the son of the most high and they start mumbling among themselves and to their people outside of the hearing of Yahawashah, aka jesus christ and they said to them this man sorry is casting out the devils by Beelzebub but because the son of the most high Yahawasha was in tune with the spirit he knew exactly what they were saying so this is when Jesus said to them knowing the content of their hearts knowing the falsehood they were now spreading among the people out of jealousy he said to them every kingdom that is divided among itself will become to desolation or it will be ruined every house or every city that is divided among itself will never stand if satan cast out satan then he is divided among himself and his kingdom shall not stand you may ask what does this have to do what does this have to do with the topic you're going to speak about? Christmas is here. What about Christmas? People, let us examine the word Christmas. Let us come to an understanding what the word Christmas means. The word Christmas, the first part of the word Christmas is Christ. We know Christ is the Greek word for Savior. And we know Yahawasha is referred to as the Savior of man or the Savior of the world. So they call him Jesus the Savior. Yahawasha the Savior. Mass. Mass is a word that is used in Catholicism. That represents the worship. It represents worship. So it's a central act of worship in Catholicism. So Christmas is Christ's worship or the worship of Christ. Right? That is what Christmas is. Now, we all say we don't know when Christ was born. But we just celebrate it um, as just a celebration to acknowledge his birth. Now, although we in the Western world, the Israelites, don't know when Christ was born, the day, the date in the month and the year in which Christ was born is not a secret. It is known, it is not known to us, but it is known. 
every Catholic priest know the day, the date, the month, and the year in which Christ, Yahweh, was born. And if they don't know it, they have access to the information. Let me tell you why. Don't forget. Jesus Christ, Yahweh, aka Jesus Christ, was arrested. Hi, Holy Love. Merry Christmas to you. By the Romans. He was put on trial by the Romans. He was unfairly and unlawfully convicted by the Romans. He was sentenced to death by the Romans. He was executed by the Romans. People, no one is ever arrested, prosecuted, convicted, and executed unless they have their entire identity and with a man like Jesus whose arrest literally transform the way people lives his record will never be lost his record exists not only do they know when he was born but we will discover that the date and the time period in which Jesus was born and which Yahweh was born has nothing to do with December. It has nothing to do with the 25th. It has nothing to do with winter. People remember Christmas is a Catholic holiday. It's a Catholic celebration. Every country of the world celebrates Christmas in one way or the other. Even the Muslim world has a celebration that climax on the 25th of December. It is not called Christmas, but the Muslim world acknowledge Christmas, Christ, and they acknowledge Christmas because they say in the Muslim text, that Yahweh, aka Jesus Christ, was one of the major prophets that came from Allah. That is what the Muslim believe. He was a prophet that came from Allah. So they acknowledge Christmas. They acknowledge the birth of Christ. People, listen to me. The date in which the most high son was born is known it's not a secret it is known in the same way the romans took all of the manuscripts and take them back to rome in italy they have all of the records of the trial of christ the date of birth of christ everything you need to know about the son of the most high the romans has it in their possession so the birth of the son of the of god is not a mystery it is known evidence is there to support but his only thing we don't know when he was born because they're keeping it a secret why because they have to promote christmas People, let us examine some, some facts here. In Mark chapter 2 verse 1, it says that Caesar Augustus ordered that a census of the entire Roman Empire take place. And according to scriptures, Joseph, with his pregnant wife went on a journey to Judah because he was a Judahite he went back to his homeland this is what the scripture says 
Now, if you are requiring people to come for a census, even if this order was issued in Rome, it is up to the governor of the district to determine what is the most appropriate time for us to have the census so we can get the most accurate record to send back to Rome. So that Caesar Augustus, the emperor of Rome, will be satisfied with our findings. Remember, these are diplomats that are out representing Rome. Their sole obligation is to Rome. They took their job serious. People, let me tell you something. Why the census in Israel will not take place in December? In Israel, they have two seasons. Winter and summer. The season. It is, very, it is very rainy and it is cold in the winter season. So if you want an accurate count in the census, you will never order the census to be taken in the winter because it is almost impossible to facilitate travel in the winter because of the weather. It rains heavily and it is very cold. However, in the summer, which start in April and run to the middle of October. It is 82 degrees average. It don't rain. It is perfect for traveling. So why would the governor who wanted an accurate record will put the census in the middle of December? When it is rainy, when it is cold, no, and would Joseph take his wife on such a journey, a pregnant wife, in all of the rain, in all of the rain, and in the cold weather? No, it doesn't make sense. It just don't make sense. So the question we are about to ask here, what we are about to ask here is where did Christmas come from? Why are we celebrating the birthday of the Son of the Most High on the 25th of December each year? Why? Why is it so important? People remember Christmas is a Roman holiday. When the Roman, Roman conquered the entire world from Africa, Asia, the Americas, and all of Europe, the Roman did one particular thing. They, they exported Catholicism to every corner of the earth. It was the religion of the Romans. Every corner of the earth, there was a Catholic church with priests and bishops administering the affairs of the church of Rome. This is where Christianity, modern day Christianity came from. This is where Christmas came from. This is where Easter came from. And this is where carnival came from. The carnival that we say is our culture. Was not even started by us. It is a Roman festival. It is a free Lenten festival. And I will show you how all of these ties in. And come together. Christmas, Easter and carnival. That's why they don't want you to know when Jesus Christ was born. Because if 
you realize that Jesus Christ was not born even in the winter months then if you are sincere you cannot say that you're celebrating Christmas on the 25th so that's why the birth of Christ is a big secret they don't want you to know when the Most High Son was born because they want you to celebrate December 25th they want you to be a part of this pagan festival because they want you to betray your God through ignorance listen to me we have to come to a place where we realize what we are doing and we have to come to a place where we as conscious people will have to make decision as to Christmas we'll have to make a decision as to what Christmas means to us and if it is something that we is worth celebrating. But what I am celebrating today, my people, what I am celebrating today is the fact that the Son of the Most High looks like me. The Son of the Most High looks like me. Revelation 1, 12 to 15 says, that the son of the most high have brown skin and woolly hair. Daniel says the son of the most high has woolly hair. I am celebrating that the son of the most high looks like me. And not only does he look like me. He came so that I can be saved. And with that in mind, I am celebrating with singing Francine today for unto us a child was born but he didn't remain a child he grew up came the great miracle worker he is the son of the most high I celebrate today the Sabbath that our Savior came and born as man Live as man live, overcome every trial that he was confronted with. And not only did he overcome it, he showed us that no matter how hard, how difficult things come, we have the power to rise above any situation. That is what I celebrate today. And I celebrate this Francine that he is our God, my people. You know, I celebrate today. I celebrate today because the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit in Matthew 4 1 to 11. Led the Son of the Most High to be tempted by the greatest tempter there is. The Holy Spirit say, Yahawasha, you are the Son of the Most High. You are going to die on a cross, but that is not your biggest challenge. Your biggest challenge is to go up against the one who gave who Michael cast out of heaven he controls this earth he run things on this earth now you must go and challenge him the holy spirit led him into the wilderness after being in a fast for 40 days lucifer the devil had a master plan his master plan Hey, I'm going to catch him now. I'm going to get him now. He is in my territory. He is in my domain. A hungry man. 
haven't eaten for fast 40 days. He said, what? Why don't you make bread out of the stone? You're hungry. Of course, Christ could make bread out of the stone. But you remember that man should not live by bread alone. He take him up into the mountains and tell him, if you cast on yourself, the most I love you so much, he is going to send his angels to guard you lest you dash your foot against the rock. People and the last temptation is that he offered the most high son riches if he the most high son Yahawasha aka the son of the most high Yahawasha Jesus Christ will fall down and worship him as only the most high should be worshipped people the same free temptation that we are confronted with every day there are people who will sell their soul to quench their hunger. There are people who have offered their souls for riches and worship the devil. People. There are people who test God every day, not understanding what they're doing. That is why, that is why I celebrate. Because the son of the Mosai, Yahawasha, aka Jesus Christ, not only went up one and one with the devil, he overcome the greatest of temptation that the devil had waiting for him. One and one confrontation and win. And he says, greater things greater things than i have done you are going to do so when the devil come and tempt us remember that greater things that yahawasha aka jesus christ have done you are going to do we can overcome the devil but you have to call on yahawasha aka jesus christ and say father you says greater things than you have done we are going to do so help me overcome this temptation don't let me fall don't let me become prey to the devil because you have said it in your words greater things than you have done we are going to do if we have the power to raise the dead but because of our lack of faith, we are unable to do those great things. People, let me tell you why I celebrate today. I celebrate because the son of the Most High was unlawfully arrested. He was unlawfully tried. He was convicted without evidence. He was sentenced to death. He was prosecuted. He was executed. And guess what? He spent three days in the tomb. Then he rose. He rise up triumphantly from the grave. Do you know what that means? Let me tell you what that means if you don't know what it means. It means that death will not be able to keep you down. It means like the Son of Man rose from the dead, we are going to rise from the dead. Not only will we rise from the dead, Yahawasha aka Jesus Christ will be the one who is going to call us forth in the same way he called forth Lazarus from the dead. In the same way he called forth Lazarus from the dead, he is going to call us forth. He is going to say, Alan, Come forth 
And I am going to get up from the dead. I'm going to shake off my grave clothes. I am going to move the earth that cover me and hold me down. And I am going to rise up, lay my feet on the surface of the earth. I stand up and watch my Savior in his face and say, I have waited for you for quite a while. <laughs> this is why I celebrate. This is why I celebrate today. Because Yahweh, aka Jesus Christ, was not only killed, he was not only dead, but he rose and he lives forevermore. People, let me tell you something you didn't know. When I was a youth, I was a great orator. I could speak. Error free. Clear minds. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, these demons came and they held me down. These demons came and they held me down. They take away my ability to speak. A few years ago when I did a live video, I had to download the live video, edit the live video, and repost it and delete the live video that I did. You know why? Because those demons will put words in my mouth that were not in my vocabulary. I will blubber some nonsense sometimes, uncontrollable. They will cause me to stumble over words I was familiar with. People, I would lose my trend of thought. This is no joke, you know, people. This is no joke. I could not do a live video. I couldn't do a live video. I've been doing video for years. And I had to do this video and edit. That is why I can edit so well. Because I had to edit all those videos I've been doing over the years. Because the evil ones didn't want me uttering what the most I want me to speak. They took away my ability to think clearly. They put words in my mouth that were not in my vocabulary. They called me to stumble over words that I was familiar with. People, it's not until I start to pray and fast. It is not until I start to pray and fast that the Most High Son give me the victory over these demons, people. You don't understand the struggles I had in making a presentation like this. As a youth, this was nothing. But even for the past five years, I have been struggling to make presentation like this. I wondered what happened. But it's not until I start praying and fasting. Each time I prayed and I fast, I got new victory. The Most High have sent His Spirit to warn off all of these demons. People listen to me. The new I was coming this week on Christmas Day to speak to you. They had all of these people coming around me, doing all of their hocus pocus voodoo thing. But it can't work. Because the most high said to a disciple when they couldn't cast out the devil. Remember that story? He says, Some some devils are only cast out by praying and fasting people you don't know how far i come you don't know how far i come from the past few years i've been struggling to to, to express myself freely clearly and eloquent with words because of the work of the evil 
the evil ones. I knew who started it. Because the most I shows you everything when you are living faithful to him. But all I have, I go back to 1971. 1971 now, listen to this. Let the power fall on I. So let the power from Zion fall on I. Let your power fall on I. So let the wicked burn in flames far right. Let the wicked burn in flames. So let the wicked burn in flames most high. Let the wicked burn in flames. People, that is why I celebrate today. Because I have come a long way. I have overcome many obstacles. The haters of the Israelites are on me every day. They send the FBI. You remember when I was in New York some time ago? Ralph Gonsav sent the FBI to me. I met with them. I sat down with them. I spoke with them. But here in California, they are on me again. LA PD is on me. Santa Monica PD is on me. If I go to Hollywood, Hollywood PD is on me. They follow me everywhere I go, but they can't touch I. That is why I celebrate because the most I said in his words in, in, in Deuteronomy chapter 225. I will put the fear of you and I will put the dread of you on every nation under the sun. The most I have promised that you'll put the fear of me and the dread of me in the hearts of my enemies. They want to kill me. They have, to, they have to sneak around the bush and still they can't get it done. That is why I celebrate today. I celebrate because the most I have put something on my heart that they cannot take away from me. You have set the Holy Spirit upon me. People, I'm going to say something here that they don't want to, he they don't want to hear. The most I have already showed me he is going to take me back to the country of my birth. I am going to lead my people into prosperity and into spiritual wholesomeness. Vafkons have hated when I say this. What he is trying to destroy, I am going to rebuild. I am going to be the leader of St. Vincent and the Grenadines and there's no devil or demon who can stop that. That is why they have been investing so much money to try to lure me into homosexuality. Because they want to control me. That is why he have hired California lawyer Richard Ross to try to oppress me. I cannot be oppressed. You have to touch my mind first. And my mind is quadding off on everything except for the most high. My most high, the most high dwell within my thoughts. You have to first evict the most high from my mind if you want to touch my mind. My mind is guarded by the Holy Spirit and his holy angels. You can't stop what the most high have ordained for me. The most high have set me up. Not to oppress and exploit my people, but to raise them up so that they can acknowledge him. Lucifer knows what St. Vincent holds. Let me tell you something. When the children of Lucifer, the Caucasian was trying to get a hold of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Primitive, Garofuna and Kalinago, the indigenous people, ensure that they didn't come on to this land. But today, we undo everything that our forefathers did to keep our land out of the hands of our oppressors. We hand it over to them. My people, St. Vincent and the Grenadines will rise again. 
We will come a God fearing nation. I will take them there. We will come prosperous. We will be respected the world over. That is why I say, let the power of the Most High fall on I. Let the power from Zion fall on I. My people, that is why I celebrate today. I ain't telling a person how to celebrate, how to live their life. I can tell you what the most I say. It is you have to take it and live your life as you see fit. But I say, season greetings to my brothers and sisters. I love every Vincentian. Today is the day that the Lord have made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I am rejoicing. I am happy in this day. Oh, great supreme and sovereign Mosai, as I come to the end of this message, I hope that I was clear. I hope that I transmit the message that you want your people to hear. Father, if I said anything here, that lend confusion to anyone. I ask most high. Let the Holy Spirit go with my words. Let the Holy Spirit lend clarity where I would have lent confusion. In Yahushua's name I say, let it be done. My people. Thanks for hanging out with me. I say season greetings to everyone. May all of the blessings that Yahweh have in store for you be poured out on you on this the sabbath day and in the coming new year so until wednesday when i talk to you again i pray that the most i will continue to bless and guide each one of you in the house name i say let it be done have a good day my people